as we sit here on a Shrimey weekend for the class of 2008, we actually turn the clock back a little bit because as we sit here before you on what is a full October afternoon, we have a 2002 enshrinee to the Volleyball Hall of Fame. She was inducted as a player, although as you learn more about this woman who sits alongside me, Long Ping, the fact is she was enshrined because of her contributions for the Japanese, for the Chinese. For Chinese. For the Chinese national team, although amazing that she now coaches the U.S women's volleyball program. So thank you for sitting here with me for a while this afternoon. I, I'm trying to figure out where to begin. If I want to learn more about you as a player that led to your enshrinement in the Hall of Fame, or maybe trying to learn about the irony that you now coach a U.S. women's team that sometimes has to compete against your former country. Let's talk about you first as a player. Tell me what it was that first got you involved in volleyball. Um. Actually, uh, before volleyball, I involved for basketball uh, because my, my sister was a basketball player. And, um, but they think I'm too thin to, to, to make contact. And so I said, okay, let's um, I play volleyball. So um, when I was in uh, middle school, so I started my uh, volleyball uh, games. Did you pick the game of volleyball up quickly because you were already aspiring to be a basketball player? Uh, I think I, I improved the uh, quick, and, and I, I, as soon as I play it, I, I really uh, love the game. Do you ever look back and wonder what may have happened if you stayed with basketball, or you just are totally content? Um, I'm very happy I changed for volleyball. I, I don't really regret for the uh, basketball, you know. Um, I, I can't see the future of my basketball career because I don't know um, how good I can be. Um, but volleyball, I'm very, um, especially for my physical condition, I think I'm most uh, suit for, for volleyball. Can we talk a bit as far as to your championship accomplishments and just what it feels like to compete on that level? Because, I mean, it goes without saying that winning isn't easy. So you've got to work hard to be a champion at this level. Mm, of course, uh, um, you know, everybody has to uh, you know, like show your talent and your specialty on the court. Um, but I think it's more important to play as a team. You know, uh, everybody take a different responsibility. Uh, I think uh, team sports really can make it up for each other. Uh, I think that's really what I like. Uh, I don't want to assume because of your uh, what's what I'm looking for? Well, you, you said because of just the way you're physically built. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a blocker, uh, spiker, or I, I play the outside, um, like a left front. You know, normally you hit a lot of difficult balls, and you know, I'm a strong hitter. I realize that outside hitters, for anyone yeah. who knows, it, are very dangerous. <laughs> very dangerous, the outside yeah, it's hitters. A, it's a hard job, too. Yeah. Now, this is a good way to go into the next aspect because hard job coaching people mm -hmm. to play what's well, a hard sport you know a lot of people think it's just something you do at the beach or you're doing gym class but mm -hmm. volleyball fundamentally is not easy talk about trying to coach and educate uh, I think um, especially when I was player um, and become a coach later I feel like I have so much I want to talk to my players you know I like you know what I feel what I take so what lead me to a success uh, but of course I want them to be a, a great player too. Uh, I think it's very hard, especially coach USA players, and we have um, a little bit different culture, you know, mentalities, uh, and I'm more Asian style, more calm and, and quiet, but uh, USA players uh, with more passion, uh, more physical. Um, so for me, I have to really uh, get into it, uh, try to learn the culture, you know, make sure they accept the way I'm coaching. So I think that is an even harder part than you coach um, the skills. Now, it's interesting when you describe having a lot of passion. Is it possible from what you've experienced as a coach versus what you've experienced as a player, do you sometimes have to calm the girls? Can they sometimes be too excited where they're not so focused? Mm, I think you have to be patient enough for the games. Uh, 
especially longer games. You know, you, you can't only count for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And there, you have to be really, like you said, uh, very focused on, I would think, two hours. You know, um, oh, yeah. yeah, sometimes I don't want them to use their energy at the first part and then the last hour they, they just run out of gas. So uh, hopefully, you know, I try to teach them how to save their energy, how to read before it happened for the situation uh, and how we communicate each other. Uh, I think that that is more harder uh, than technique in this level. Now here goes what, what could be the, the, the interesting question that I think only you can answer because you've taken a team that you are now coaching in, in a country where you, you are revered as a hero and a superstar for what you've accomplished in, in the women's game. What is it like when you have to take a, a, a foreign team to compete against your country women? Um, I think this situation, maybe I would think 20 years ago, the people will think it's weird, um, but now it's more international sports. Um, you know, it's, it's really you can see it happened a lot. You know, exchanging coaches, exchanging sports, uh, and they uh, they share experience. I think it's more international right now. You know, like a Chinese Olympic delegation, this Olympic Games, they hired 35 foreign coaches in different sports. It's more than USA delegation did, sure. you know, so the people understand and also they are happy to see, okay, now we have another Chinese coach, coach USA team, yes, you know, you, they, they see different way. Um, I think it's very um, fortunate, very lucky for me to, to coach USA team and then when we play in China, um, we're like a second host, you know, everybody cheer for us, you know, uh, when we play uh, other teams. So when you look at, at some of the Asian athletes, and obviously some of the men stand out, uh, you know, with, with Yao Ming in basketball mm -hmm. and Ichiro or, or Matsuzaka in baseball, do, do you think that this just does things to really open up the sport, it's just, just to build camaraderie amidst the, the two different nations? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think people are very uh, excited to see Yao Ming play in NBA, and the same thing, they say, oh, our uh, volleyball coach also coached the U.S., you know, so they they get a little more confidence, they, they're, you know, they're happy to share um, my experience, they want to hear what do you do in U.S., you know, what kind of culture is, you know, can they accept the Asian volleyball style, you know, they have all different interesting questions. So, so I think it's very neat to do it. No, I'm sure that leading USA Women's Volleyball keeps you very busy. Mm -hmm. But when you're not training and recruiting and scouting mm -hmm. and, and, and competing, what, what else do you do with your time? Uh, I do spend a lot of my lecture time with my daughter. Uh, she lives in uh, California. She goes to school. Um, so uh, I, I love to uh, be around with her every day, you know, like uh, take her to school, pick her up, you know, um, we, I cook, I learn how to cook for her and uh, we do a lot of thing, uh, fun things, especially during the weekend, if we have a chance, we watch a movie, we go shopping, you know, it's, it's great. <laughs> if you could just answer one last question, uh, we are now six years past when you were enshrined in this very Volleyball Hall of Fame mm -hmm. that we're here celebrating the new class. Your love of the sport, love of the game, what you're giving back as a coach, lecturer, can you tell me what being enshrined in the Hall of Fame means to you? Uh, I think it's um, very honored uh, after, you know, I, I inducted it in 2002, but actually I retired, it was 1990. Uh, after 12 years, they still remember you, they gave you this honor. Um, I, I think it's very, uh, very much encouragement for, for the sports of volleyball. You know, it, it's a great, uh, great thing, a great honor for you and for the team, um, for all the best volleyball players and coaches in the world. Uh, it's, it, it really brings us together. Congratulations on your enshrinement. And to think that even at that time, I mean, the, the strides that you've made in helping to guide the women in this country to being supreme volleyball players, we thank you very much. My pleasure. Lang Ping, she is the head coach for USA Women's Volleyball in Shrine, the class of 2002, and joining us here for Volleyball Weekend with Volleyball Inspectors at the class of 2008. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You.